Qatar Energy has signed a 27-year deal to supply China's Sinopec with liquefied natural gas, making it the largest single sales and purchase agreement in the LNG sector. Qatar Energy Chief Executive Mr. Saad Kabi explains that the move is an important milestone for the first sales and purchase agreement for Northfield's East project. He adds that since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February, instability has driven buyers to seek long-term supplies and understand the importance of having long-term long -term supply that is fixed with a reasonable price. Meanwhile, Europe is in need of a vast amount, of re uh, vast amount to replace Russian pipeline gas that would make up almost 40% of the continent's imports. Asian stock recouped early losses today supported by improved sentiments for China shares. But concerns linger that Beijing may reimpose strict COVID curbs that could cause supply chain disruptions. European stock features indicated a sluggish open and Euro stock 50 features up 0.15%, German DAX features up 0.09%, FTSE features up 0.30%. The broad uh, Asian Pacific Index X Japan recovered earlier losses to inch 0.07% higher in the afternoon, while China CSI 300 benchmark was up 0.43%. Hong Kong benchmark index losing 0.7%. Japan's benchmark nickel average rose 0.69% as the yen's weakness against the dollar raised prospects for domestic manufacturers. Australian shares rose 0.59%, supported by strength in miners and banks. In the money market, the Russian ruble hovered around 61 rubles to the dollar after touching its lowest in nearly two weeks earlier today, with pressure from oil market jitters countered by rubles buying to cover month-end tax payments. The rubble, according to the report, is supported by a month-end tax period in which exporters usually convert foreign exchange revenue into rubles to pay domestic liabilities. The Russian currency was on exchange unchanged at 62.33 rubles against the euro and was down 0.1% against the yen at 8.48 rubble. Meanwhile, analysts have the view that an improved situation on the energy market, an increase in the supply of foreign exchange uh, by exporters will facilitate further increase in the value of the currency. Crude oil prices were little changed today as the global recession worries and concerns about China's rising COVID-19 case numbers Denting demand from the world's top crude oil importer. Uh, we're offset by positive impact of a retreat in the U.S. dollar. The U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude experiences a downward uh, upward review of 0.76% to sell at $80.65 per barrel. Brent experienced an uptick of 0.96%, selling at $88.29. Bonnie Light sells at $82.53 with a price decline of 5.21%. For the OPEC basket, crude oil dealers offer $91.72 uh, with an upward review of 0.61%.